Because auctions are 236, video file for lot 376, uh, Melbourne Suburban Postcards, very scarce group. These are the three illustrated in the catalogue. This one actually has a small concealed tear just there. It's still a lovely card. Brighton Cycle Shop. Uh, these are the cards to be illustrated online. I don't know if that's been done yet. Brighton with H.T. Cox Butcher Shop in the front. Again, a lovely card. And there's quite a few of these that are very early divided backs or even some undivided backs. Main Street Clifton Hill, which is uh, Alexandra Parade. Um, see how wide it is. It's quite remarkable that it was left that wide initially. You can see R.D. Hooper's auctions at the back there. Probably with a magnifier, you can read a couple of the other signs there. The Convent at Studley Park Q, which is still there. Main entrance, Corowa, East Malvern, which is now a school, girls' school. Uh, views of Armadale. Baptist Church at Armadale, which is still there. Camberwell Junction, this is the old post office that uh, sadly was knocked down to put up a new post office, which is now nothing more than an LPO. Uh, this building is still here, still in place. Cheltenham, Charman Road, uh, that has changed somewhat, as has Heidelberg. That's probably Burgundy Street. But, uh, Halebury College at Brighton Beach. Morty Alec Bridge, rather animated view. Northcote from North Fitzroy. So this would be going across the Merry Creek uh, at Westgarth, I think. Mail steamer leaving Melbourne Port. Main Street Frankston. Richie's Grocers, which was owned by a... And Richie's on the other side. That was owned by a distant relative of mine. Swing Bridge at Footscray, no longer there. Verona at East Melbourne, I don't know that building. So it's actually that, yes, I think that might still be there. Uh, Tom's School manuscript, State School at Armadale, uh, which again is still there. Nicholson Street, Footscray has changed a lot. It's nice that you can read some of the. The signs, forgers, drapers, uh, Garrick, cash chemist, whatever that is. Uh, Worth Homes, which was a uh, piano manufacturer. Mercer Road, Malvern. I don't know Mercer Road. I'm wondering if that's been renamed. Post Office Q, uh, which is now a cafe. And the cricket oval at Heidelberg. It's a little creased. And then we move on. I'm going to show you all of these because it's a really nice lot. Beaconsfield Parade towards St Kilda. Uh, the Bowling Green at Armadale. Uh, Main Street, Belgrave. Uh, a lot of that is still there uh, with new facades. And these ramps are still in place and the steps. So it's a very interesting... Uh, Photograph probably from the 1930s. Approach to Berwick. Uh, that's changed somewhat. Yachting at Black Rock. Uh, what is that? That is at Box Hill. On a creek, apparently. Uh, tea Tree at Brighton. This real photo is Talbot Avenue, Canterbury. Camberwell State School overprint on the Empire Day card. That's unfortunately quite badly creased. And this is Camberwell. Can't read it properly, but it looks like it's the State School. Canterbury Road, Canterbury. Unsurfaced at that time. Uh, the Garden Plaza Chadston Shopping Centre. So that would be very soon after Chadston opened, uh, back in the late 1950s. Um, and if you've been to Chadston in recent times, you'll know that it's rather larger these days. 
at the Mall at Chadston Shopping Centre. Or the Mall, if you prefer. Dandenong Road, Armadale with the tram. Uh, tram terminus at Clifton Hill. Again, this extremely wide expanse of Alexandra Avenue. Smith Street, Collingwood. Lovely signs along here. Tim Sheehan, Cash Draper. That's probably Sheehan as well up there. Uh, F.W. Rose, hairdresser and tobacconist. Furniture bought. Sutton's. And this one is Princess Highway Dandenong with the post office in the middle distance. Uh, Murray Views, this is Frankston, tinted. And a rural lane Frankston, one of these unusual smaller cards. Davies Bay, Frankston, view from Oliver's Hill, Frankston. The Creek at Frankston, which would be Cannonhook Creek. Uh, panorama of coastline from Oliver's Hill, Frankston, that's creased. The Main Street, Frankston. Uh, Macaulay's Boat Shed at Kew, that would be at Studley Park. The Kew Asylum and Yarra Bend Asylum, that's, that's this enormous building up here, uh, Willersmere, which has now been uh, converted into upscale apartments. So I think that must be the Yarra Bend Asylum there. Very interesting. That might be where the guide dogs are now. Not sure. Convent at Studley Park, still there. I think we had another view before. Uh, Kew Cemetery, now known as the Burundara Cemetery. That's creased down through there. The creek near Breakwater at Mordialloc. Um, uh, don't know anything about that. Uh, Melbourne Gardens near Princess Bridge. River Yarra from Princess Bridge. Um, this is High Street Malvern. Very unusual passenger vehicle there. Town Hall at Malvern, which is still there but painted white. Uh, Public Gardens Malvern. Greetings from Malvern. Mentone Presbyterian Church. Malvern Gardens. Public Gardens, Malvern, at the same place. Uh, Lake Walk, Mooney Ponds, uh, that'll be around Queen's Park. Uh, bumped corner, badly bumped corner down there. Queen's Park, Mooney Ponds, haha, <laughs> I'm right. Uh, Town Hall, Mooney Ponds, which uh, is still there but looks quite different today. Mordialloc Creek looking west, Mordialloc Creek looking west. Ah, oh, that's the same view. How about that? You get a swap. Port Melbourne Pier at Melbourne. Sturt Street looking west. Well, Ballarat is not suburban Melbourne, but it's a very nice early uh, divided back card. And ozone passing pile light on Port Phillip. Uh, Port Melbourne. Port Melbourne, after the storm, Port Melbourne. Uh, Port Melbourne Pier again, Railway Pier, Port Melbourne Railway Pier, nice real photo, and two more of the Railway Pier. So a really, really good lot.